The engineering system investigation process is a model-based process and is the cornerstone of modern engineering practice. It can be applied to an existing physical system to better understand the behavior of the physical system or to improve its performance. But it can also be applied to a design concept that an engineer has created to solve an engineering problem. This will lead to a virtual prototype of that design concept, which the engineer can use to determine if the design concept solves the engineering problem. And this is done without cutting metal or soldering wires. The first step in the process is to create a physical model of the physical system or the design concept. This is done by using engineering judgment and making simplifying assumptions. There is a hierarchy of physical models possible from the less real, less complex, to the more real, more complex. The key is to create a physical model that captures the essential attributes of the physical system or the design concept and gives the greatest insight. Modeling is all about insight. The physical model will have variables and numerical values for those variables need to be determined. This is called parameter identification. Here we identify model parameters. Once we have a physical model, we then apply the laws of nature, Newton's laws, Maxwell's equations, to the physical model, not to the physical system or design concept, to the physical model, the result is the mathematical model the differential equations of motion. In order to predict the behavior of the physical system or design concept, we need to solve the mathematical model. This is called mathematical analysis. We do that by performing numerical simulations or by linearizing the equations of motion and doing hand analysis. The reason we choose to do both is because the combination of both approaches will give us the greatest insight. Once we predict the behavior of the physical model by solving the mathematical model, we then need to compare it to the measured performance of either our physical system or design concept. Remember, computer simulations without experimental verification are at best questionable and at worst useless. If we are evaluating the physical system, the physical system exists. We can make measurements, we can do measurement analysis. We can then compare the results of that measurement analysis to our mathematical predictions and determine, is the model adequate? Is the comparison adequate? If the answer is yes, we can use our model to better understand the behavior of the physical system or to make design changes, improve the system design, change the parameters and or the configuration or concept. If the comparison is not adequate, we need to know why. It could be because of our measurement, or it could be because of our model. And we need to evaluate both. But how do we compare our mathematical predictions when we are evaluating a design concept? The design concept does not exist physically. Well, then we have to use past experience and experiments or create some simple experiments to validate some questionable aspects of our physical model. Once we have done that, we then proceed by making a comparison between predictions and measured results. 
and then ask the question, is the comparison adequate? If the answer is yes, well then our design concept can be evaluated for its solution to the engineering problem. Design changes can be made, parameters can be changed, configurations can be changed, or the entire concept can be changed. If the comparison is not adequate, again, we need to know, determine why. Is it because of our measurements or is it because of our model? This then is the engineering system investigation process and it is the cornerstone of modern engineering practice.